G'day guys, welcome to the long awaited patrol walkthrough. Wow! So I've had the car for about two years now. Um, I bought it completely stock. There's nothing that's actually on it at all. It's the same as when I bought it. Starting on the outside, at the front, we've got the steel bull bar, steel side steps that I have bent, and you can probably see right there. They are I've bent it up on a rock. Bonnet protector, big, big scoop, big, big bug eater. Got them, them together, cheap off marketplace. Pretty much everything off this car is either cheap, I built myself, or marketplace. So, look, budget car. Also got the um, spotties on the front with the big whip on it too, the strong flag on it, and the aerial. More on the side, I've got the garden flares literally a garden trim tech screwed up to counteract for the bigger tires because I've got bigger tires on this. They are only 33s and they do look pretty little now. I do want to have bigger tires. But they are 33s on it and they're 12 and a half inch size rims so they stick out about probably like an inch, inch and a half. Into the driver's door. Pretty much only got, I haven't really done much, it's finally put a speaker in it. I've got two pop pillar gauges to the side, and that's pretty much it. I've got the radio there. I have added in this little compartment up here, because patrols do not have much storage, and that's just where I put my phone and all that. Besides that, it is pretty much stock in there. Also got the XR seats in the front here just with the cheap seat covers on it and the little bits I've added along here to try and make it look a bit nicer. I think it does look nicer than it, the factories do. Moving into the rear, or the rear seats. Just got the two seat organizers but the Navigator one on the passenger side, literally just bought that one. Really happy with it so far. But we'll see how it goes when we te actually test it. Just got our first aid kit, a few stubby holders, sunscreen, essentials like that. And then this bottom drawer down here is quite large and we're going to use that for all our filming equipment when we go away. Back now. So I've got the dual wheel carrier on it, which may may or not have seen. Probably speed it up while I open it because it is a little bit of a pain. Got drawers in the back. I am going to be putting a new top on it. I broke that while actually getting this dual carry. I squeezed it in the back of my car somewhere. Got the fridge in here. Got the battery usually sits here. I've just taken it out for now while modifying everything. In these drawers, this side here is going to be our more like kitchen stuff. I'll put a little cover on it as well just to try and help when we're actually prepping everything. Take a little cover off. Just got cooking stuff in there at the moment. We haven't done too much on it yet because we're not actually going on a trip like in the next couple days. So there's not much stuff in there. Just the stuff that I can actually keep in there. And then this little area here, trying to make... Trying to make as much room, but as there's not much room. So usually diving stuff will go in here. Like I've, I've still even got my flippers in there at the moment. And this side here is mostly tools and more dirty stuff. I've got air compressor and snatch strap in here as well. I'm trying to keep it out of the way now. I don't have the roof crack. Besides, you're still trying to make use of as much room as possible. Like we just keep random stuff in. I've even got a pair of slippers in here. Dog biscuits and like toilet paper. I've also got the solar, well, made solar shades for it because I do not want to pay $350 for something I could just make myself. Just... All I did to actually make these is I've just got a piece of paper and like an outline of my window. And I'll obviously I'll overcut these, the, um, the actual, your front window car shields. Like you can get them like a super cheap in that. And 
I got two of them for I think they were ten to fifteen dollars each, and I also got these little suction cups that were like five dollars each. So on the big door, I have a table. I usually have I actually have a pair of jocks that usually sits in here to try and keep it from moving, as it does move a fair bit like just while driving. I can't really like show you this, but it does. And yeah, this is the cooking prep. And we're gonna try it out. Cause try this out and we're going to have see i've got two stations i can get ready on like i can put the cooker on here and actually get like food ready up here seeing how that goes it will probably change again everything everything always changes try and make it better and make it more comfortable and easier so yeah we are no longer sleeping in the back of this we are just swagging it from now on until i sort out something for the roof of my car as well whether it's rotate the rooftop between the two cars or not but yeah so the i do have a bed platform that i can put in here but that's only for like overnighters and that's if we're doing full driving because my car's the better full driver of the two under the bonnet now so as i said before it has a newer motor in it it has a fresh rebuild in it my gas struts are failing, so I have to use the antenna. But besides that, and the intercooler, it is completely factory underneath here. Mind the wiring, that's just me being lazy and not being bothered to do, to actually wire the spotlights in properly. But I will get to it. It does have a aftermarket boost set up in it, which you need to do with these so D30s. One of the things I have done is it has a Straight through three inch exhaust. You can kind of see it just down there. And the snorkel, which I fitted myself. So I have got pretty big future plans as everyone does. I want to change the floor. I want to put a vinyl floor in it. I do not like the carpet. This car is used a four wheel drive and I just, the carpet is gross. She gets a bit money. <laughs> Yeah, when it's a bit it, yeah, and it smells a little bit as well. It's just, well, it's a, yeah, it's an old car. Carpet smells. I just don't. Yeah. We have recently just bought a cargo barrier off marketplace. I bought it while I was up in Exmouth. I paid a carton for it. So <laughs> I is getting in there. It's just it's doesn't. It didn't come with all the stuff because well, most of it was bent, and I have to try and figure out because the guy actually rolled his car that I bought it off of. And I just gotta do a little bit, like straighten out some stuff, and it will, it it will go in here, and it will sit quite nicely. Later down the track, the plan is to purchase a camper trailer. So this car's probably not gonna have the biggest setup compared to the Ranger, where it has the full kitchen setup in it. This car's probably not gonna be as extreme as that because the plan is to tow a camper trailer, which has everything everything in it. in it have enough stuff in it so that we can still do quick one-nighters or a few couple of days but not be as stuff as the ranger like the ranger we could literally we could probably live out the ranger we could yeah now with the with, with, roof, with top, the rooftop top 10 we could live out the ranger we so just, this car here yeah. is going to be more set up for towing and still full driving yeah whereas the range is more of a touring car if you guys haven't seen that video we're gonna link it so you can check out the ranger setup video that video is from before we put the rooftop tent on it but it, not much has changed at all and we will do another updated walkthrough of that when we have got more time we probably have missed a couple of things in this tour as it the weather's just not playing the game today and it's super windy and we still haven't uh, had the chance to invest in some mics which we are looking at getting to uh, help out audio as we know that sometimes the audio can be a little bit average average if you guys are interested in anything more in depth leave a comment down below and we can chuck up a short or if you can um, head over to our tiktok account and we can chuck up a video there i have also bought a new project car an xjj i'll give you a quick look at it if you want a video comment it down Besides that, thanks for watching and hope you have a good one.